for a period of about six months, I worked on a project to help manage chronic pain. And one of the things I discovered about the people who were on the project was how for a lot of them, their biggest kind of hang up or issue was around chronic pain becoming part of their identity. And really the challenge for me and everybody involved was in order to really help these people was to show them this and to begin to have them change their life by actually disidentifying from somebody who has chronic pain. And really it became that it was, you know, really deeply entrenched in their, their psychology, you know. For a lot of these people, they have been dealing with their pain for 15 plus years. So at this point, it really becomes hard for them to know themselves without chronic pain. For example, I remember I asked this question, you know, what would your ideal day look like? And we took it in turns around the group to see, you know, what their ideal day would look like. And I mean, even what was interesting was the frame of the question, you know, what would your ideal day look like? For all of them, they still included something about you know, managing their pain. Um, it wasn't that they would wake up and go and do this and go and do that and be involved with this. And it was still around, you know, having a successful <laughs> medication routine or, you know, different uh, things in their day, but still structured around uh, pain, right? So the question really is, is then is, you know, how do you get freedom from, from pain or, or even why would you want to, right? And the reason why is because really it's about doing whatever it is you want to do and not having any hindrances, not having any reason to not do those things, right? Now, that alludes to the kind of first clue of how to erase chronic pain is really to start to see and understand how there's something called secondary benefits where by having chronic pain, there are some benefits to this. Maybe you are on benefits, so you literally receive money for being in pain. Maybe you are not working and your lifestyle is being maintained by these benefits and actually your lifestyle on benefits not working actually suits you better, okay? So understanding secondary gains is super important to see, okay, well, maybe how am I benefiting from having pain? And it sounds counterintuitive, right? Because it's like, well, you know, I don't wanna have this pain, I wanna get rid of it and maybe I'm getting some something from it you know and it's not just physical material materialistic things like benefits money whatever it's also psychological things maybe you get attention from loved ones maybe you get attention from doctors care staff maybe you go to chronic pain groups and this is where your social circle is you know all of these things are going to help to keep chronic pain in place because there is some benefit to, to, to wanting to have it. Now, before I continue, what's really important is to understand the structure of chronic pain because always the question is gonna be, well, I feel something physically in my body, therefore I have this, this issue, right? And I'm not disputing that you have pain or have some some pain in the body what I am saying is that your mind and you are and have your body has everything it needs to heal itself and to get over this pain okay so this is the thing right it's really having the confidence having the faith having the knowing to know that your body is capable of removing this pain from the body. Now, 
When it comes to chronic pain, there's two kind of factors that really help. And in this video, this is like some of the medicine or, or it is the medicine to help dissolve chronic pain. And why it's the medicine is really is because it's about understanding. If your body has the capability to rid itself of the pain, then why hasn't it done that already? Well, the reason why is because there's some belief structures that are in place that help to maintain or help to have the body function in a way where the pain is in place. So really the body is kind of, there's an error in the body's, in the, in the brain, in the mind system, right? Because here's the thing, right? Understand that that's where you perceive pain is, is in the mind, through the mind. So really it's just a question of understanding and rewiring the brain to have a pattern which is pain-free. And pain-free is not really an accurate way of saying it because there are always sensations. There are always pain signals being sent to the brain. As I'm communicating this, I'm aware of a slight mild discomfort in my back. Now, the reason why I don't consider myself to have chronic pain is because I don't dwell on it. I don't think about it. You know, I play a lot of, I play a lot of sports, different sports. I exercise. I have a ton of injuries through my body, which if I focus on them, if I become aware of them, if I tune into them, I can feel what we would describe as pain, like uncomfortable sensations. Some injuries happened years ago, but when I tune into it, I can still feel a memory trace of that sensation, right? And it's, that's all it is. It's just, a, it's just a reminder of what happened. You know, it's just a reminder to not do it again. That's the way I perceive my pain. And by that way, I'm able to kind of put it down and say, right, well, I don't need that right now. I don't need to focus on that. And in that way, I don't have any pain or discomfort. So understanding pain in general is super important to reframe how we perceive pain and then therefore let go of it or to live with it in a way that it doesn't affect our daily lives. So how we look at pain is very simple. There is physiological pain, there is structural damage inside the body which causes a signal to be sent to the brain which is a pain signal. Now if this is the case, this can be addressed physically. If there is in existence a damage to the structures or the tissues or the nerves even, we can do certain things, be proactive, getting treatment, understanding the cause, learning about our bodies, implementing certain exercises, different things we can do to alleviate this pain or discomfort because that's how the body works. So sometimes there is some implementation, you know, that plus time, the body will heal itself. And on the other side of things, there's what we're talking about here, which is chronic pain. Now here's the biggest revelation or here's the real understanding that we need to get over this. And that simply is that chronic pain does not exist. Chronic pain is not in existence. It's not to say that there isn't a sensation that we ascribe a label to, but that's all it is, is a label. Once we remove the label, then we can deal with actually what's there and then we can improve the symptoms. But by attaching the label, which isn't real, which doesn't exist, it's not in reality, to ourselves, now it becomes something that is unachievable. You can't get over something that doesn't exist. You know, you're fighting against something that isn't real. Until you really deal with what there is to deal with, there's gonna be no improvement. So what do I mean when I say that chronic pain doesn't exist? You know, and I understand that this can be very triggering for some people. Well, if you were to look outside your window and you look for five pieces of chronic pain, you wouldn't be able to find it. You know, that it doesn't, it's not a tangible thing. It's not an item. 
For example, if you look for five trees, you can find five trees. Five chronic pains? No, you can't find five chronic pains. You may be able to find five people who say they have chronic pain, but again, what does that mean? For each of those five individual people, it means a very different thing. Some people have head pain, some people have elbow pain, some people have knee pain, some people have back problems, some people have autoimmune disorders, but it is not chronic pain because chronic pain is just an umbrella term for pain over a long period of time. So when you really look and you see, okay, well, chronic pain doesn't actually exist. It's a no thing. It's nothing. Now you can say, okay, well, really it's not fair or it's not accurate for me to say I have chronic pain. You know, then that gives you something to look to, to actually what it is I have or what it is I am dealing with. So I hope that really helps to dissolve chronic pain. And in that way, you know, job done. This is how we erase chronic pain forever, literally. Now we understand, okay, I actually don't have chronic pain because it's not real, it doesn't exist, it's just a label, it's just words. Now we can deal with what's actually there. Okay, so maybe I have back pain. Well, if there is a sensation in the, in the back, what is causing that sensation? Is there something structural? Is there damage? If there is structural damage, what do I need to do to heal it? Is it nutrition? Is it surgery? Is it exercise? Is it, I just haven't found the right specialist who deals with these conditions? Maybe I need to be more proactive in finding, seeking out somebody who can actually help. Now, if you've exhausted every avenue and actually what's causing the pain is just the memory trace, <clears throat> your brain has created a pain circuit, a pain pathway. Well, then you have the power to overcome that. One way is to meditate, is to actually go into that pain, sit with your eyes closed, go into that pain and watch and look for that pain. And what you'll find is when you go into the pain, the deeper you go into the pain, the more levels you go to, the more you'll see it doesn't exist. The more you'll find it's actually really hard. Once you begin to embrace that sensation, it's super difficult to actually find it, to look for it, to feel it. And this is really a, really a spiritual process now, when you go into your pain and you embrace it and you accept it. By focusing on it, you will see there's an element to it that is not real. It's like, you feel the pain, you tune into it, and then it disappears or it becomes hard to tune into. So you focus harder and you find it again. And just as you find it, it moves. Or maybe it changes position in the body. Or maybe it brings up a certain memory of something that happened in the past that maybe you've suppressed or you've forgotten about or you didn't want to deal with, which then manifested as a physical pain. And then maybe it's to deal with that or to accept that or to embrace that. So it really is just looking at what is there in the moment and dealing with what's there in the moment. Like I said, there is some possibility that your identity may be part of or chronic pain may have become part of your identity in which case it's just a letting go and being aware and looking for where that's happening 
The rest is dealing with any physical structural damage. And as I said, if it's become a pain pattern in the brain and the mind, then it's a spiritual process of dissolving that, inquiring into it, you know. And really, like how to do all of this is really just to, just to inquire, just to really look, you know, use your mind and have a look and say, okay, well, Kiron said chronic pain doesn't exist. Well, is that true? Can I find chronic pain? And if you can only find it in people saying they have it, well, really like dive in, like what does that mean? What is actually present? And yeah, it's a continual practice. Ultimately, it's a letting go. As I said, I have tons of ailments in my body. You know, my neck doesn't quite move this way. I've sprained my ankles a bunch of times. My lower back plays up from time to time. When I play football, my glutes and my lower back become stiff, become sore. But none of this affects me day to day, mostly because I just don't think about it. I understand that sensations in the body are natural and are there to help me. They are there to provide me with feedback about what I'm doing right and what I'm doing not so right. What mistakes I've made in the past and what mistakes not to make in the future. You know, my ankles tell me I need to strengthen them through this sensation we call pain. And here's the thing, right? It's, it's understanding that, that it's just part of, of life, part of having a human body is these what we would describe as uncomfortable sensations. But when you reframe it to being a part of you, being a necessary, helpful tool to give us signals about how to behave, what to do, when we're going right, when we're going wrong. You know, for example, if you're a runner and you're getting knee pain, well, it's probably because your running technique is off. It's just letting you know like, hey, you're running, you know, you need some new trainers or whatever, right? This is it, it's just a message, messenger. As I, as I said, sometimes psychological trauma, emotional pain can manifest later physically inside the body and physically in the body, you know, through the joints or even what we would describe as acute injuries could be psychological issues. I remember one time I was going through something and I played football and I, and I got injured, I sprained my ankle. And it transpired that it was because I was going through what I was going through, why I ended up spraining my ankle, you know, and that, had to, that helped to create space for me to resolve these relationship issues. So, it's just about reframing it, understanding that pain is just part of it, and if you have aches and pains in the body, then personally, you know, I exercise and I stretch and I do certain things to keep my body in a way that allows me to do what I want it to do and doesn't bother me frequently. And it's not that big of a deal, you know, it's not that you have to go on some huge mission to do this, it's just a letting go. Literally, it's like just dropping a bag of sand or a bag of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just letting go so letting go of the need to question your body all the time you know it's like yes I have pain and I'm gonna get on with my day even furthermore I wouldn't even say that if there's something that needs to be addressed then like I said address it but if not, forget about it, literally. It sounds very simplistic, and it is. So chronic pain doesn't exist. And we can let go 
of anything that doesn't need to be addressed. This is a difficult one because oftentimes when we have an issue, we want a solution to the problem. But sometimes the solution to the problem is acknowledging there isn't a problem. That being said, with love, send new peace and prosperity. Take care of yourself.